Hi there everyone! Today we will talk about and answer the question why are some people get to be extremely successful and others are not? I read from the book How to Turn Your Passion into Profit by Bo Sanchez and Dean Pax Lapid that luck is the offspring of preparedness and opportunity. In this episode, we will discover what are these preparations. You will find out what you need to do so that when the opportunities come, you will be more than ready to grab them. So, if that has gotten you more curious, get your pen and paper ready so you can take down your notes and insights during this episode. I am Teacher T and I would like to welcome you all to the very first episode of TLE, Making Life Easy. Let me get back to the statement of Dean Pax Lapid in the book, How to Turn Your Passion into Profit. Luck is the offspring of preparedness and opportunity. My neighbor is a high school graduate. He married young and worked as a construction worker before opportunity knocked. What was the opportunity? The hiring of construction workers in New Zealand, which was posted online. He applied and was hired. Now it has been a few years since then, and now his two-story house is almost finished. The question is, what made my neighbor get what he dreamed of? My neighbor surely has these three things, knowledge, skills, and right attitude. These three things can be acquired today as part of your preparation. Always remember, you will not be lucky if opportunity comes when you are not prepared. When opportunity knocked at my neighbor's door, he was able to take it because he had acquired the knowledge, the skills, and the right attitude to become a construction worker in New Zealand. He now earns a whopping 2,000 pesos an hour, and that is what we will be discussing today. In this lesson, we will explore and learn the knowledge, skills, and attitude of successful entrepreneur and employee in contact center services. I will be with you every step of the way in making your life easy. Why choose contact center services? You might be thinking, how are you going to help your family amidst this pandemic? You see, people losing their jobs like a security guard in a convenience store who despite of his dedication and hard work has been laid off. While a lot of motorcycle owners are now resorting to food delivery jobs. You see that a job that is essential today may not be that essential tomorrow. That is never likely to happen with a contact center services job. Once you finish this specialization, you can use it not just in the contact center industry, but also in any other industry out there, like online teaching, online marketing and sales, to name a few. So study hard because it is the only way to help your parents today. And that brings to our very first topic, the personal entrepreneurial competencies of a successful contact center employee or even an owner. It really depends on how big of a dream you have. Let's play a game. I am going to show you pictures that will give you clues for the encrypted words that I want you to guess. Are you ready? Let's begin. Number one, these pictures characterize a man and a woman who are blanked. This means working diligently and being consistent about it. Consistent is the exact opposite of Ningas Kugon. Did you think hardworking? If so, you are correct. Number two, these pictures characterize people who are blanked. This means entrepreneurs exhibit self-reliance in one's ability and judgment. Did you just say confident? If so, you're right. Number three, these pictures characterize people who are blanked. This means entrepreneurs stick to the plan and fight the temptation to do what is unimportant. Do you think that it is disciplined? You are correct. Number four, these pictures suggest what? This means entrepreneurs assume full responsibility over their business. They give full commitment and solid dedication to make the business successful. What have you got? Is it committed? 
If so, you got it right. Number 5. What do these pictures mean? Nothing is permanent but change. Change occurs frequently. When you own a business, you should cope with and thrive on changes, capitalize on positive changes to make your business grow. Did you say adaptability? If so, you got it right. Number six, what characteristic of entrepreneurs do this picture suggest? An entrepreneur should be innovative to stay in business in order to have an edge over the other competitors. Did you say creative? Well, that's great. You got it again. Number seven. Guess what characteristic of entrepreneurs these pictures are showing? You must put yourself in a position where you are responsible for the failure or success of your business. You act without being told to do so. If you think initiative, you are correct. Number eight, what do these pictures mean? You make sure that the business can generate income. The answer is profit oriented. If you got them all correct, good job! Let us review the characteristics of successful entrepreneurs that we got from our activity. Successful entrepreneurs are hardworking, confident, disciplined, committed, adaptable or have the ability to accept change, creative, has initiative, and profit-oriented. Now that you know the character or attitude component of personal entrepreneurial competencies, I want to ask you if you possess all of them. If not, which among them do you think you still need to work on? Confused on how you will know if you have them or not? Here's how. We will have an assessment of your PECs. On a piece of paper, copy the following. You may want to fold your paper in three parts. The first column is where you will write all the eight characteristics of a successful entrepreneur. I will give you 30 seconds to complete it. And then I will ask you for a yes or no question for each of the PECs or personal entrepreneurial competencies. Your 30 seconds starts now. Time's up! Simply check the box that corresponds to your answer. 1. For hardworking, do you work hard consistently until you finish a task? 2. For confident, do you believe in your ability to handle uncertain situations? 3. For disciplined, do you stick to your plan and avoid doing unimportant activities? 4. For committed, do you deliver what you have promised to do? 5. For adaptable or the ability to accept change, do you cope easily with change, capitalizing on positive changes? 6. For creative, are you able to find solutions to existing problems and needs? 7. For have initiative, do you take active responsibility over your current situation? 8. For profit-oriented, do you always look for ways to increase your income or say to have an income? If you have answered all these questions with a resounding yes, congratulations! You are halfway to becoming a successful entrepreneur. But if you have not answered with a yes to all of them, I am encouraging you to learn to incorporate those characteristics. Now that you know your areas for improvement in personal entrepreneurial competencies, 
Let's go look at the skills component of personal entrepreneurial competencies. Suppose you have the right attitude of a successful entrepreneur, but you don't have the skills. What is likely to happen? Attitude isn't enough, right? However, it is the starting point. A positive attitude will lead you to develop the following skills. 1. Be an excellent planner. Planning involves strategic thinking and goal setting to achieve objectives by carefully maximizing all the available resources. 2. Possess people skills. People skills refer to effective and efficient communication and establishing good relationship with the people you work with, either as co-workers or clients. 3. Sound decision maker. Successful entrepreneurs can think quickly to make wise decisions towards a predetermined set of objectives. We cannot deny that making wise decisions is an important skill that an entrepreneur should possess. Now that we discuss both eight attitudes related personal entrepreneurial competencies and the three skills related personal entrepreneurial competencies, I want you to answer these questions on a sheet of paper. One, when was the last time you wrote your goals down? Did you make plans? Two, could you cite a situation that you tried to understand a friend or a member of a family by listening and you were able to give great advice? Three, was there ever a time that you got through difficult times because of the wise choices you made? If you were able to give an answer to question number one, it means you have the making of an excellent planner. If not, you now know that you need to consciously write down goals and make plans. You may also want to record your actions and see how your goals start to come true. It's the same thing for question number two and three. If you can't recall a time that you demonstrated people's skills and decision-making skills, you know that you have to practice listening well to understand the people you talk to and consequently be able to give them great responses. The same is true for decision-making skills practice. You may also want to evaluate your current situation, identify problems, and decide on what action you should take to improve your situation. Students, now that we have tackled all the personal entrepreneurial competencies, let us check your understanding by answering the following questions. Number one, which competency is referred to as having self-reliance in one's ability and judgment? A. Hardworking B. Disciplined C. Committed D. Confident The answer is letter D. Number 2. Which competency is meant when an entrepreneur can cope with changes? A. Creative B. Adaptability C. Has initiative or D. Profit oriented The answer is letter B. Number 3. It is demonstrated by an entrepreneur when he or she is consistent at what he or she does. A. Hardworking B. Initiative C. Confident or D. Creative the answer is letter A. Number four, this means that an entrepreneur sticks to plan and fight the temptation to do what is unimportant. A. Creative B. Confident C. Disciplined and D. Profit-oriented The answer is letter C. Number five, what skill of a successful entrepreneur is described as the ability to communicate in an effective and efficient manner? Letter A, people skills. Letter B, excellent planner. Letter C, sound decision maker. Letter D, hardworking. The answer is letter A. Number six, when you ensure that your business generates income, you are considered as someone who is blank. Letter A, excellent planner. Letter B, entrepreneur. Letter C, profit-oriented. Or letter D, creative. The answer is letter C. Number seven, these people have the ability to evaluate business opportunities. 
A. Excellent planners B. Sound decision makers C. Possess people skills And letter D. Entrepreneurs The answer is letter D. Number 8. A skill in which an entrepreneur develops and follows the steps in the plan diligently to realize goals. A. Excellent planner B. Sound decision maker C. Possesses people skills Letter D. Committed The answer is letter A. Number 9. These are the entrepreneurs that can think quickly and prudently. Letter A. Sound decision makers B. Excellent planners C. Possesses people's skills Letter D. Confident The answer is letter A. Number 10. A trait of a successful entrepreneur demonstrated when he or she innovates to have an edge over the other competitors. Letter A. Adaptable Letter B. Creative Letter C. Committed or letter D. Discipline The correct answer is letter B. There we have it! I hope you enjoyed answering your short quiz. And I hope that you got correct answers for each of the questions. If you got a score below 7, you might want to re-watch this episode on Deped Commons or on the official YouTube channel of Deped TV. Summing it up, we have discussed that entrepreneurs are people with the skills to see and evaluate business opportunities. While entrepreneurship is both the art and the science of converting business ideas into marketable products or services to improve the quality of living. I think that this should excite you the way it excites me, that entering the entrepreneurial world is about improving the lives of others and consequently your own life. Without entrepreneurs like Bill Gates, we will surely have hard time with our school reports and office work, right? We also learned about personal entrepreneurial competencies, which are the following. One, hardworking, which means working diligently. Two, confident, which means belief in and reliance on one's ability. Three, discipline, which means always sticking to one's plan. Four, committed, which means having solid dedication. Five, ability to accept change, which means being adaptable. Six, creative, which means being innovative to have an edge over other competitors. Seven, has initiative, which means taking full responsibility for your job or business. 8. Profit-oriented, which means always looking for an opportunity to generate income. 9. An excellent planner, which means thinking strategically and setting goals. 10. Possesses people's skills, which means being effective and efficient in communication and being able to relate well to people. 11. Sound decision maker, which means being able to make wise decisions towards the set objectives. Since we have learned the personal entrepreneurial competencies and assessed where and what competencies you still need to work on, you can now create a list of personal entrepreneurial competencies that you would want to improve on or develop. I challenge you to create an action plan to develop your personal entrepreneurial competencies. Finally, we have reached the end of this episode. It's time to remind you that life will be easier tomorrow if you do the hard part today. See you in our next episode where we will talk about how to communicate effectively in English. This has been Teacher T on TLE, Making Life Easy.